Okay, so here we are in the workshop and we're gonna unbox and make a start on building this, the TBS Caprahania 2. Okay, so I've been wanting to get one of these um, for a little while. Um, basically, it's a flying wing or an FPV wing. Um, the original TVS Caprahania was the item that I was after, but it was very difficult um, to kind of find someone that had them in stock. And then recently I decided to look again and I saw that a second version had come out and it's a slightly revised design. Looks a lot um, nicer in terms of components where you can put them. Um, so I thought I'd uh, kind of unbox it, show you what's in here and we'll see if we can uh, make a start on the build. So I've never flown one of these things before. Uh, I flew a plane, an RC plane a long time ago, uh, really drones uh, are what I have the experience in. Uh, you can buy this in a couple of different flavours. As you can see on the side, this is the PNP kit. So it already, it basically comes um, semi-constructed. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you get uh, some of the electronics as well. So you get the motor, the ESC, um, the prop, uh, that sort of thing. So let's uh, get this open and uh, show you what you get inside. Okay, so we've got a few boxes. Let's, uh, let's put them one side so we can have a good look at them all together. Oh, this one's got a bow on it. Nice. Okay. So we're trying to do this in some sort of order. We cleared some room. Okay, so let's pop that over there. And uh, see what we've got in each of these. So, look with the smallest box first. Pop this open, and as you can see, we have a few items in here. So, we have uh, a Velcro strap, TBS Caprahania. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm assuming this is uh, a battery strap uh, for inside, so we'll just pop that to one side for now. Okay. As you can see, uh, how do I open this? I might have to use the scissors, but it's all nicely packed bubble wrap. Okay, so this is the main, um, I guess it's a central component of the Caprihania. So you can see here, oh, that's right, all pretty much already installed. So if you were buying this separately, you'd have to construct, <coughs> excuse me, I think there's a bit of dust in here. You have to construct and glue all this wood together, but it's already done for you. And it's already come mounted with the, the PCB board with an XT60 uh, connector, um, the bulletproof uh, ESC along with uh, all the wiring in there, and there's already two um, straps for the battery. Um, so I guess that, that strap might actually be for uh, the GoPro Hero that you fit on the front. So that's uh, the one main part. What I like about the fact is that nice uh, plastic covering uh, to enable you easy access to the battery compartment, which is really nice. Okay. Okay, and then in here, we have the motor, by the way, yep. Okay, and then the motor mount is also already glued and constructed, uh, and the, the motor is mounted in there. And this is a, a Cobra CP2814-1050. Um, 
looks pretty nice. That's everything for the small box. Okay. Put these up on the laptop for now. Okay, the medium sized box. Okay, that's uh, my receipt and a discount voucher for future purchasing. Uh, in here we have um, Aeronaut uh, props. It comes on a foldable uh, mount for easy storage, which is awesome. Uh, I see these are the ailerons. That's good. In here, not quite sure what this is. Looks like some. I think these are adhesive um, panels that you, you fit. Some sort of foam cover of some sort. I'm sure we'll see what that is later. Uh, and these are the winglets. So these go on the edge uh, of the wing once it's completed. Okay, so this big box with a lovely bow on it must be Vetro Caprihania itself. Very nice touch by the TBS guys. I'm a really big fan uh, of Team Black Sheep. Uh, I've got um, the TBS Discovery is my kind of favourite drone, which is um, kind of from them that I built a fair few years ago now. Ah, here we are. Okay, right. So, here is one side. Uh, as you can see, here's all the, the cutouts. I think one of those, that little foam connector may go in here. Um, and this is where the GoPro Hero will sit. Uh, as you can see, the aileron connectors are already connected. There's some cabling in there. These are this. Okay. So this, these have these uh, kind of push-mounted connectors. So the servo is already uh, in here. That's what the okay, what's the servo wire? Um, and this seems to be broken. Uh, it's, it's their push fit um, connectors to enable easy access but it looks like that one seems to be broken i'll contact the tbs guys and see if i can get a replacement they're normally really good with stuff like that so that's one side of the wing And here we have the other side. Again, everything's already connected, servos are already in. Uh, this one seems to work properly. So another open compartment. So these are the components, or the compartments where we're gonna keep our components. Um, so the flight controller, um, receiver, etc., etc. Uh, so it's all gonna to fit together. Uh, and in this side is where we have the FPV camera so we can see kind of where we're flying everything. Uh, and it's all modular, so I'm, my plan is to um, use some of the Team Black Sheep flight controllers. I'm gonna stick with my Immersion RC uh, Easy UHF um, receiver, um, and then uh, get a new camera, etc. which I've got a few of those components here. And then last, but by no means, least this is uh, this is the shaft i think i don't know if it's carbon fiber there's a carbon fiber shaft that will go through um the two wings to kind of connect and pull it all together so that's it that is the contents of these three boxes now let's uh go everything together and see if we can't um Make a start tonight so we can get the, the at least the wing uh, constructed. Uh, and I've got some of the components already. Um, there's just a, something called a TBS wing layer that um, is currently out of stock. So 
I need to wait for a little bit, but I can make some more progress on the rest of the components and uh, see how we get on. Really looking forward to this. Like I said, not flown one of these before. Uh, some people say they're easy to fly, some people not. Um, so I guess just have to see um, how we pick things up. I've also ordered a new uh, transmitter. Um, I'm going to get the Tyrannus X9, I think it's X9D Plus to replace uh, my Turnergy one. Nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just five years old and I promised myself one day I would treat myself um, to that model. So I've ordered one of those from uh, Hong Kong. So that should arrive in the next couple of days. Right, let's do some building. Okay, so I've gone to the Team Black Sheet website. Um, this is where there's a manual to help you um, do the construction. I think in general, um, I've got everything uh, I'm, I'm gonna need. Um, so there is an option to laminate this. I may or may not do that later. I've never done that before. Um, the lamination would help uh, make it a little bit tougher, um, but you really need a, a hot iron, obviously some like some pre-micron laminating tape. So worry about that later. Uh, I got these, the 3M blender and tape. I think this is usually like medical tape. That's what you can use to fix the ailerons. Um, I got a, a sanding block to roughen up um, some of the wood and that carbon thing to make sure that it, the glues and everything stick well to it. Um, I've got some five minute epoxy um, and some super glue. Um, so that should be enough um, for gluing these things together. I also have um, my, my pack of little um, tweezers and things to help pull through um, various cables. We might not need that uh, in this video if we don't get through to the electronics. Uh, and then my craft knife set, because um, I probably will have to cut or trim uh, parts of this as we go through. So let's uh, start reading the manual and work out what we're going to do. But I'm, I'm happy that we've got all this space um, to kind of put everything um, in one place. And uh, I've got an old towel that I can just chuck over uh, at the end um, as we continue to make progress. And then I'll have to find something in the garage next to the drones to mount this on the wall. So bear with me whilst I try and read this manual and uh, get to grips with how we're going to construct this. As I said, thankfully most of it's already been done for us as part of the the PNP kit. Okay, so let's go for the instructions again. This PNP kit um, already a lot's been done for me. So normally this section here needs to be glued in, along with a spar here and a spar on the top as well. So obviously I don't need to worry uh, about either of those things. So that's easy. Uh, the battery bay is already glued together, um, but the main spar wing and wood bit I do need to do. So I need to do some measuring and uh, put that together. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for
Okay, so the battery ran out there. Um, so a couple of things, I guess, to note. I, I put glue uh, on this area here. You don't want to put glue on there because this is where that compartment straps in. So you don't want that to be glued shut. Um, obviously, once um, you you offer this up, I just put some blue painters tape um, just to hold it in. But this stuff glues pretty quickly. Um, so already I can feel it. It's pretty rigid. But just helps hold it tight. Uh, I didn't bother any underneath because it seems to fit quite snugly uh, into that bottom pieces now. So I'm just going to um, sand up the other side a little bit uh, as he put some glue uh, on this uh, shaft. Make sure I don't get it all over my hands like I have uh, on the other one. And uh, yeah, should be good to, good to go. night now um, I think well I know what happened is uh, the battery ran out when I was recording so didn't uh, get to show you guys everything so the general gist of it is that the the super glue uh, that was uh, used to glue uh, the shaft in was drying rapidly uh, and kind of made uh, connection to the shaft very difficult like it got blocked so I managed to kind of persuade it in. Um, so it may be now be that the shaft is not 100% um, equal. Well, hopefully it doesn't mess up with the CG too much. Um, but as you can see, um, I have now mounted the motor in as well. And because of the fact um, that it didn't fit together really neatly, you can see there's a thin line um, down the bottom. So I'm going to put some black silicon in there just to close everything off. I don't think it's going to really make any difference. Um, I was really a bit worried that um, the whole thing was getting ruined as we were going along, but things seem okay. So I'm going to just finish this video off with um, installing the ailerons and then the base of the build um, will be finished. So I've left it overnight um, for the epoxy uh, to properly cure and dry. So I'll just pull these bits off now. We should see that there's a decent line of adhesive 
all the way down. Well, blue paint detect takes a little bit of the foam off, which is annoying, but it's that balance. Obviously, you want to keep it all neatly together. Let's face it, it's going to get a little bit of damage when it crashes anyway. It's going to crash. Okay. Okay, so it's looking, oh, they hold the crap's falling off everywhere, but it's looking pretty good. So that's all kind of sat together well. And uh, let's do that tape. Yeah, it feels feels robust which is good news there's a slight bit of movement at the front that looks like it's just movement of the wood which I think is to be expected I think that's the only thing I'm not too happy about in here is because obviously all the glue was hardening um, quickly I don't know how well you can see it there's this little bit of glue stainage, I might be able to sand that out, just, it's not going to have any effect, but just for me it'd be a little bit happier that it's uh, all clean. I've uh, also contacted um, Team Black Sheep and they are sending me out uh, a new pop clip so I can uh, replace that. That should be here in a couple of weeks. So right, let's um, put the laptop up again and get the instructions on how we're going to fit these ailerons, going to clear up a bit of space. I think we're done with glue now. And uh, yeah, see how we get on.
Okay, so I'm just wrapping up for the evening. I need to realize that that last section, the audio was not recording. So that sucks. Um, so I need to make sure, obviously the part two uh, of this video um, don't have as many technical glitches. So just to wrap up, um, the winglets are on. Um, you can glue these or, or glue and screw. I've just screwed them because I think they're probably going to get damaged quite easily. So you're going to want to um, be able to replace those easy enough. Um, as you can see, the ailerons are on and the aileron horns. This is all adjusted quite nicely. Uh, I think I'm going to cut out a wooden uh, kind of gauge to help, I guess, make sure that that's all working properly. Um, the most important thing with the ailerons, uh, there is a left and a right. Uh, really the only way you can tell is you want to make sure that um, kind of the curved edge is pointing down to allow it to go down as well as all the way up. So it only goes down a small amount. So just make sure you uh, read the instructions carefully. And then uh, as you saw in the video, I use this uh, 3M uh, blender um, tape. Um, to do that. So that should be fine. Um, so yeah, it's coming together nicely. There's a really good um, weight to it. Um, all the epoxy seems to have dried nicely. Uh, as I mentioned, um, some silicon tape should arrive tomorrow so I can pop that in there. And then the next stage is going to be um, doing the electronics install. So I've got everything um, I need um, except for uh, one piece which is still waiting to come into stock uh, from Hong Kong then I can get things going so part two will be the electrical install uh, and then part three will be the maiden flight and see if I can get this thing to work thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.